I'm going to finally reveal my secret game that I have been working on for this entire time, and it's called... Way. Hold up. The game isn't even fully developed yet, and I don't even have a proper lobby. I cannot release the game this bad to the public. It'll just flop. So let's grab our polisher and polish this game. I had already made a lot of GUIs, but I needed to design the shop frame. So I hopped on my photo editing software and quickly made one. Then I added the image label and changed its image to the design I made and made a close button, but it doesn't work yet. We need to advance our script. I copied the GUI handler script from my impossible tower and rewrote all the functions to make our shop work. Oh, there's one error. I forgot to add blur to my game. Now the shop works perfectly. Now I need to make the ban hammer work. I found a script that kicks a player when they touch the hammer part. Okay, finally, after many hours, I finally made it work. I wanted to make a jump all button, so I asked ChatGPT to write me a script. Then I made the button and pasted the script. Surprisingly, it works, but I wanted to make the icon look better and move it to the side. Then I made a text that appears on your screen if you don't have enough wins. Of course, I also needed a script for that. I'm pretty sure I found it somewhere on YouTube. And yeah, it didn't work. After fixing the whole script, it finally works. I wanted to test it with multiple players. And let's go! It also works, but there was just one slight issue. If you spam click sometimes, it takes your win without doing the function. So I added the wait variable for 1.5 seconds. Then I made a function that gives a win each time the timer ends. And yeah, it doesn't work. So I had to write a completely new script for that. And finally, it works. I don't know how, but it multiplies the wins by how many players are in the game. So I made a text label for that. Now I needed to add some buttons in the shop. One of them was a ban hammer that you can own for 30 seconds. And it costs 20 wins. I also added the kill all button that kills all the players in the server. But of course, it wouldn't work on its own. It needed a script, so I added the local script for that. Let's go! It works! The button had this weird scaling issue, but I knew how to fix it. I just converted it to scale. Then I wrote a script for the ban hammer button that clones the hammer in the player's backpack for 30 seconds. But that also didn't work. So I separated the script into a local script and a server script, and now it works. Let's go! There's only one issue. If you already own the game pass, it clones the hammer again. So I made the script check if the hammer is in their backpack. Let's go! It works! I wanted to add a way to monetize the game, so I added text buttons that'll subtract minutes from the timer. I uploaded it to Roblox Studio and tried to make a script for it, but nothing seemed to work. I could only write a script that makes the buttons prompt up the purchase. After days of trying, I still couldn't do it, so I had to call up my friend, and with his help, we were able to fix the script. He added a local script for each one of the buttons and added a new function in the timer script. All there was left to do is to make the map, but first, let's plan out the map layout. There will be big rocks around the map and a circle in the middle that leads to a forest and a mushroom area. I also want to add an easter egg here. I completely forgot that I had this map. I purchased it a long time ago, but I'm not going to use it. Now let's add the borders around the map as a map border. Then I added a forest and a mushroom area, with a lot of fences and rock paths. I wanted to make this box give a badge if you jump on it. I wrote this script for it that awards the badge on touch. Now let's test it out. I forgot to anchor my map. Now it's fixed. Now let's try out touching the box. It works! The game is now alive. Use cold starter for free wins. See you inside the game!